As InfoWars built the modern anti-globalist wave, we knew people would want a choice once this globalist system of world government came into play. We knew they wanted to ignore they were building it, so when it finally got here, there'd be no opposition that had already coalesced against it. But we weren't caught. He doesn't. Uh, Alex Jones has no. And that's no, why now we're beginning to win. Alex Jones does not broadcast opposition to criminality. He'll say he's a constitutionalist, but he's not. It's a lie, right? So you can learn of your own mind if you listen to what I'm saying and realize, well, I'm going to make up my own mind, Johnny. I'm not going to listen to how you sell it. I'm going to make up my own mind, right? It's reported in, I think, Reuters. Jamie Dimon is going to be is asked being selected to be the head of the Treasury. Who's Jamie Dimon? Well, he's he's guilty of stealing trillions of dollars from the American sucker, right? He commits fraud uh, through embezzlement and extortion. But who is he? You know, he's a trillionaire. He's he has more money than you could ever spend. He could never spend his money. Till the day he dies, if he just I'm throwing away my money, throwing it away, it'll never go away. He's got that's how much money he's stolen from America. So what does he want to do with his time? He wants to control the system. He doesn't want you to learn who he is, right? He never wants you to be granted the mind to know where did he get all this money. It's like Hitlery, right? She has billions of dollars, or we'll acknowledge she took three hundred fifty million dollars, just more. It's a little bit more than this. Three hundred fifty million dollars from the charity that was given to <clears throat> Haiti, pardon me. Do you re recall in the debate, the presidential debate, she says, I only take 6%. That gives me five-star rating, or you know, the best charity that uh, America has. So be proud. She's proud of her work, right? So she took $350 million out of seven billion. She says she took six, but we'll just count it as five because it's easier math, right? But it's more than $350 million. She takes from that money and puts it in her, po in her pocket. And she believes she deserves that money and proudly says so on the TV. Right? And you and when you watched it, you said, yeah, it's pretty good. She's like, apparently, if she's lying, I mean, somebody might catch her at this. But yeah, she runs the best charity there is. She says she only took 6% for herself of charity money. That's more than $350 million. Right, so that's where I'm from. So it's an understand, or I try anyway. I mean, on these political positions that I talk on, it doesn't matter whether it's popular. Or I, it's too bad that being free wasn't popular, uh, but it should be because it's not that complicated. The founding fathers had it correct, where you wouldn't let a Jamie Diamond in there to mint your own money, a private individual minting America's money. You see, Alex Jones, he's the best thing, or whatever. Um, you know, he'll never let you know that. It all has to conform to his lies, to his cheating, to his thieving from your soul, to rob America further blind. Uh, left unaware, this story of Alex Jones is titled Special Report Trump Not Breaking Promises, Media Lies Again. Okay, well, what is the media saying? Well, they're quoting uh, people that work directly for Trump, right, saying that. Uh, the neocons are all coming back. So we want to kill all the Palestinians, the Jews, the Muslims, and commit war crimes of the most egregious kinds. War crimes that Alex Jones would never cover. And, you know, I don't advance his arrest because he's, you know, he's all into this, well, I'm not saying, I'm saying that he's not keeping you informed, right? He purposefully keeps you in the dark. Now, I'm sure hoping that it's not, it would sure would be beautiful if it wasn't true. And Trump came out and said, I don't have any spokesperson that's saying John Bolton, uh, you know, I'm going to put into any position of authority outside of fucking, you know, prison uh, sentence after being tried fair for his war crime offenses. You know, they committed the most heinous war crimes imaginable, uh, like bombing Iraq for no reason. Alex Jones will never allow anybody to say that. You know, I can't talk to him. I'm not allowed to. Right? I'm not allowed to call the show because I'm in with the New World Order. Right? My story, he told, I have it recorded. He told his staff that the reason I, John Canal, cannot be allowed to speak on his radio show is because it's impossible for what he says. It's not true. That, therefore, John is New World Order, John, uh, John Canal. So that's why he can never allow me to say a couple sentences 
And what would I say if I had the chance? Right? Well, $16 trillion was stolen, for example. We have the... Oh, don't let... You see your mind here? Where is it in your mind where you go, Oh, he's starting to talk about some kind of crime scene that's going to require me two minutes of study. Fuck that. I like Alex Jones better, actually, Johnny. You know, I have no requirement at all. And I'll kill my own son or daughter. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be all, all, all gung-ho like um, Ted Nugent. You know, Ted Nugent, it's a well, constitutionalist. It's all this, it's, it's, it's like, what is it like? It's like masturbation or whatever. You know, all, all these things that you say uh, Trump represents, uh, you know, in the mind of a Ted Nugent, he's all into killing American soldiers for no good reasons, man. He has these huge, you should go look at Ted Nugent in 2003. I'm sure it's on the YouTubes. You know, go listen to him talk about all the liberals trying to trying to save soldiers' lives, and he wanted them to die, die for your country, and all this shit. He make these big things. He doesn't have to risk his life, right? He shoots helpless baby deers, right? Go look at the little deers that he kills, almost babies, a very young deer. You know, oh yeah, maybe adults mostly. Whatever, fuck. He has all this money, and this is what he spends his free time doing: killing deer and making sausage. And so in that time of 2003, he didn't care what the facts were. All he wanted to do was to kill and sending your son or daughter to die for his cause of sitting back in the laps of uh, your sacrificed uh, uh, luxuries to his contempt, right? He doesn't have to fucking uh, defend America, right? And he doesn't will to defend America truly because if he did, he'd be as outraged or maybe, well, he could, he'd have to know who Jamie Dimon was and what the what's wrong with the system as it's been exercised th thus far by Jamie Dimon personally I mean this guy cover this guy's a part of some major crime scenes one of the big ones is uh, the Bear Stearns bankruptcy where they go bankrupt with 77 trillion dollars where'd all the money go Jamie Dimon's there to fucking hide it personally he has to go in there and do his thing right but see none of this is ava availed your considerations because as an Alex Jones fan, and as Alex Jones personally, you're already like fucking, you don't like me because I'm talking about things you have no clue on, you never heard anybody say it before, and fuck, if it's true, you kind of look like you haven't been paying any attention. As that, it is, as, that it, as that is how it is on all these crime scenes that I explain, sometimes in seconds, tell you who did it, how it is, here's the evidence. I don't do no magic tricks. I'll, I'll, all I did is put minutes into these crime scenes. Oh, it's because I'm a genius of all geniuses. Fuck you, man. It's a lie. You know, there's something about how you how you, you, you exercise your mind. Oh, yeah, Johnny's mind's all superhuman. Fuck you, man. It's not. I see what happens. You know, people, we're all, we're all like prone to suggestion, right? So when Alex Jones said, or, you know, Alex Jones isn't as bad as other characters. I mean, there are, but there are fucking se se some severe characters. And it's probably a good thing that he is there for a whole bunch of reasons that I don't know either. You know, I, I recognize that there are some reasons uh, that he does serve a, a better cause than, than others who lay claim this, uh, this authority to control your mind. And, you, and they do it by, as, false, as false accusers. You know, the blacks do this or the whites do that. You go, oh yeah, the whites did it. Or the globalist. You know, God's a globalist. All true Christians are globalists. So every time Alex Jones says that, say, say in your mind, well that's a, completely innocent per it could be Christ himself the or the son of man right the son of man all these concepts get a little weird right Lord son of man Christ Lord generally almost in all cases is how I look at it but there's no absolutes right but generally that's God right when you talk of the Lord it's God right it's of a force uh, uh, that isn't bound by our position uh, in space-time and we know this of consciousness, like the nature of electromagnetic energy, with physics. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, because it's hard to know, you can't, it just seems kind of like God is absent our decisions. We have to be responsible for our own decisions, and God doesn't come and save the day for ourselves as we suffer. As the Winnipeg Police Department is complicit in murdering my elderly mother, my gentle mother, she never heard a fly. She was the sweetest woman you would ever fucking know. I'm serious. I know. I'm her son. Right? But she was murdered by the Winnipeg Police Department. And I record the, the record there ex as accessories to murder. 
I recorded seven times. I got videos of them beating my mom to death. They tortured my mom to death. The Winnipeg Police Department, Dr. Collister, um, <clears throat> Dr. Chisick, Nurse Delaney. Nurse Delaney, I caught her trying to kill my mom twice. Right? And nobody would arrest her, nobody would investigate, no investigations. Right? And Nurse Colette is the one who uh, kills my uh, mom with uh, devil's breath. And I have it recorded of them murdering my mom, attempting to rec kill my mom. I'm calling the cops. And while the, my mom's being tortured and I go to the police, they don't tell me they have no interest whatsoever. They play me as they do for thousands and thousands of others being mass murdered in the city of Winnipeg, Canada. I have seven re phone recordings speaking to the current chief medical examiner for this entire province of almost two million people, I think it is, situated. He is responsible as the chief medical examiner for uh, two, almost two million people. Seven recordings, you can phone them yourself. You know, you know, if you wanted to, just if you if you find some doubt to question that I'm not that I'm you know I'm not serious. I am fucking a hundred percent serious with you. They're mass murdering the poor here, and look at that. Here is the nature of uh, an argument we can attribute to God's suffering. And fuck, I guess I have to die now, right? Trying to be good and honorable, you would see me uh, have my life stolen also. It only takes you a couple of minutes to download the archive of evidence, right? I put it uh, it's somewhere 100,000 different places, okay, on the internet. All you got to do is type into Google or any search engine. There's, uh, I'm just looking at one of the newer ones here to see. Uh, murders in Winnipeg. Murder, murders in Winnipeg Hospital not being investigated. If you do that, just type it in, in Google. Download that archive. The first three, before you go into the main directory, there's three recordings there. There's me talking to the chief medical examiner and two recordings of me talking to at two different police stations. Now, uh, at the one with Mike, it's not, you have to be a little, you'd have to improve upon it a little bit, but you can hear it still. But if you are familiar with, uh, you know, audio technology or audio programs, you can boost signals up to hear what Mike is saying if you, because it isn't the easiest, but you can hear it. You know, no interest. He tells me he had no will to save my mother's life when she was being beaten to death. He tells me this after she's gone, after she's finally dead. He can, he can let the cat out of the bag. That just like all these thousands of other murder victims, he, he wills nothing to uh, transpire to uh, save uh, further lives that will be left unaware. Because our newspapers refuse to tell the people on the streets that they're fucking mass murdering people at the Health Science Center, fourth floor, Dr. Collister, Dr. Chisick, Nurse Delaney, and Nurse Collette. Now, when I contact people who, I contact fucking hundreds of people on this, obviously, right? I've talked to people that are investigators who are denied uh, uh, to look at these uh, crime scenes, but they just keep totals of how many people allege that the, their loved one has been murdered. The numbers exceed 10,000. And so I talk to all authorities on this. I've contacted Justin Trudeau, the prime minister of our country. Right? That's fucking is where else could I go? Right? I've contacted Justin Trudeau. He told me there was nothing he could do while my mom's being tortured to death. I call, I go to the police seven times. I record every time. I give you the recordings. Listen to the cops. No, we're not going to investigate. You know, or uh, eventually that's where it gets to. Right? I'm going you have to save my mother's life. Oh, well, no. We don't. And then Mike says, look, you got a problem with this. You want to come in a private room and talk about it? That's what's on that recording. Go listen to him say that. Imagine it was your mother. Imagine it was your father. You know, and they work with the newspaper to, to mass murder the poor. Now, this program is called Comfort Care. It's right across our fucking country. And I'm looking, it's fucking a, a, quite a far and wide through America also. They're taking people against their will. And they say to, uh, it, it, much of this is a con. But I'm a different, I'm, I just see what it is and I tell you what it is. Right? So my belief in God to have my mom die though, I, my, it's a requirement that, that my mom should die. And, and I serve this cause always uh, for my existence here to, to constantly tell the truth. And, and you always, of course, as a person who would rather die, you'd rather die a crime victim than press like for justice on any of the matters I speak on. Boston bombing, it's a 1.6 gallon pressure cooker. Doesn't, doesn't fit in his bag, man. 
Six liters. It can't fit in Johar's empty bag as he's walking and spending. It's, it's, it's physically impossible. Plus, his bag is mostly white. The bag with the bombs are black. You see, now you see. You see, this has no special magical power. It is that you will to die your family. You will to kill your own son, kill your own father before being honorable and going, look, I don't even fucking like this Johnny guy. He's fucking, he's, and plus he's, he's, you know, he's not the, he's not the most fucking attractive guy around sometimes. He looks pretty scary too. He's frightful. I don't fucking like him. But I have to support justice for Americans being blown up in Boston. And it isn't necessarily that I'm supporting Johnny. I'm just supporting the measurable fact as it stands, irrespective of whether Johnny even exists, right? It's the measured circumstance of the reality at hand, okay? Alex Jones won't give you those powers to be a sentient being, a true constitutionalist. It's your rights that need protecting. He wants you to blame the globalists, did it? It's, when I, every time he says that, in my mind, it sounds so fucking evil and dumb and fucking just, Totally unbecoming. You're doing nothing to help us. What does that mean? Uh, you're blaming God again. Like all the shows is always about God. It's all what he says. The globalists did it. God did it again. You know, what are you saying? He used to do this thing years ago where it's the international bankers. It's always the bankers outside of America, right? And that was always there to cheat you for sure. But it, you, we, we can, everybody's got excuses. How about that? Do you understand that? We can find excuses for Alex Jones and never have our lives defended here, right? So we, there has to be criticism drawn uh, uh, that seeks a redress on the, on these positions of our grievance uh, going unaddressed. $16 trillion was stolen. That's what's discovered with an audit. Alex Jones will never tell you that. You have to die instead. Make it so that you, you will not go to die Silenced because uh, Jamie Dimon, Alex Jones, and Trump don't want you to be paying any attention at that kind of crime scene right there. Then, right there is no escape for Jamie Dimon. Right, he stole sixteen trillion dollars from America. You know, he made it the top secretly. Nobody at the Federal Reserve was ever supposed to learn about it. Nobody in Congress, nobody was ever supposed to learn while he steals sixteen trillion dollars. Now. I can explain to you why he's stealing this money and how it's interconnected and all that other, uh, uh, very, uh, and it's all important information. It only takes like th four or five hours, or maybe not that long, maybe take an hour and a half or so. And it isn't vital for you to understand that $16, you just, $16 trillion, 16,000 billion, right? And you have to, your soul will be, st uh, will be sacrificed to repay, right? Uh, all that money that he gets for free doing nothing for nobody. Jamie Dimon, Alex Jones, and, and Trump, when they repeal Obamacare, $60 billion will come out of the Amer out of the American hide and go to Jamie Dimon personally, right? So he's being offered a job in government with a salary probably whatever, $200,000, $300,000 or whatever, Treasury Secretary, when he's stolen trillions of dollars and he's going to get $60 billion to put every... T this is what goes into his private wallet, into his private bank account. When Alex Jones and Trump and Jamie Dimon say, yeah, repeal Obamacare, stupid thing. Let the insurance companies run things, right? That's what's Trump, that's Trump's answer, right? That's his incredible plan, right? No thinking required. And don't you just love it? Die an American sucker. Don't you just love it? You don't have any thinking to do either. You have an opinion and you, you don't need to know a fucking squat. You don't need to know a fucking thing. But I'll tell you, Obamacare has this, has this sort of... Let's say it's a you know a form of secure a security feature, but security for who you know whatever it's something you 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 chances uh, are you you hate as I explain more details of the reality. You'll say, oh, I hate that. Nobody's ever said those things about Obamacare. Obamacare has all student loans that people are making payments on through the through a guaranteed uh, pro through the guaranteed student loan program all in Obamacare. Yeah, in Obamacare, this is all this is present. Jamie Dimon, student loans, insured insured student loans, the Department of Education, all these things play a huge role in Obamacare. But Alex Jones will never let you see that. That's that's something you can never witness for yourself. It's way beyond your capabilities. 
just like it is on every fucking UN resolution. He'll never give you a couple sentences of it. Like the no-fly zone into Libya. No-fly zone. Obama and Hitler bombed the country 68,000 times. It's a no-fly zone. You can't fly. They're going to fly over the country and mass murder maybe 2 million people. While Alex Jones and RT, you know, both of them together, yeah, Hillary, she killed Gaddafi. Ooh, uh, you know, you know, and they don't demand she be formally executed as a, as a war crime enemy. Why would you kill the, a, a leader of a country who's guilty of no uh, sin that you can articulate uh, uh, being factual? Right? You're just a lying, cheating, demon uh, uh, witch of fucking Satan. Hit, Hitler he is on this matter. But she, it isn't that she just kills Gaddafi with, these, with the Al-Qaeda or uh, terrorists associated ISIS and so on. They bomb the country, killing fucking millions of people maybe. Blew up all the public infrastructure so people would die of disease. No running water. No, and that's the big thing to make sure nobody gets access to water, right? That's who Hitlery bombs. Alex Jones is not going to tell you about that. How come? How come he's not going to mention to you these crimes are so willful, ungodly, evil? He won't empower you to know that all these. Uh, functionaries of the Bush administration that according to uh, some sources so far today I mean it's you know he's not going to be in office for almost two months or whatever so we'll have to see all this pans out but uh, it's not uh, it, it, he's not denouncing these positions that are reported in Reuters about him uh, becoming buddy chums uh, not only with uh, I think it was Jamie Dimon uh, side uh, was uh, present in Reuters but the other thing that was present in Reuters He's not going to be building that wall. Don't be silly. You know? And so, and it's right out of, you know, it's only been a day, right? But right out, the tri the Trump spokespeople say, don't be silly. I mean, we can't do that. That would, that would be ridiculous. Who's going to pay for that? The Mexico, yeah, I, I know, we heard that. You know, so that's what's in the newspaper. So if that's true, uh, you know, uh, what are you going to fucking do? Uh, American loser, suckered once more. Because guess what? It doesn't really make any sense. You build a big wall. Uh, they're saying the border agents won't be able to see if there's anybody on the other side of the wall. Like, they want to be able to see clearer. This is one of the issues that was brought uh, in the story. Oh. I don't want Trump. Nobody told this to Trump from because he had all the union support of the border agents and so on. What they want to do is put up a fence. And that, was, and that was what Hillary, Hitlery was saying. You did the right thing by voting for Trump. You couldn't vote, if you were informed of who Hillary was, you could, you, she needs to be in fucking prison, right? She can't vote for Hit, Hitlery. Trump is a, uh, you know, he's got issues, man. But he's a, uh, he's a fan of Alex Jones, which is as a false accuser. So he'll blame the hombres for the heroin. You know, the Mexicans bringing in heroin. And, so he's being dishonorable to you, most of particularly here, because we all know it's coming from Afghanistan. Now they could be bringing it, shipping it into Mexico and coming, bringing it across the border that way. But it's most definitely coming back from those grunts, right? Who he wants to give military hardware to go on the streets looking for these 40 million Americans that don't have all their paperwork in order, right? And so that's the worst of the Gestapo, the worst of fucking Stalin. Starting, it's not the worst. I mean, Stalin gets even worse. Well, obviously, uh, so much more severe. But um, but it's definitely the beginning of something horrible, where your freedoms will be infringed. Right? You want to go after all the Mexicans who don't have their fucking paperwork or whatever. Right? They're illegals. Uh, you know, working uh, working uh, to make a living, uh, to survive, to make something better of their lives and their and their sorry position in life. Uh, just being born a few miles away from yourself. So, you know, they've got to suffer uh, all the dope pushers' bullets uh, uh, being fired in their fucking neighborhoods because Trump doesn't want to address where this heroin's coming from. So, you know, you decide to not care anymore. Well, Trump said he was going to build a wall, but not really. I mean, don't, get, don't be stupid. It's, it would be 2,000 miles long, they're saying. 2,000 miles long, a wall. How long is the China wall? I don't know. But I'll tell you, that's a fucking, that's a fucking long wall. And it costs a lot of money. Why not just, well, I mean, it's good to have, yeah, fence idea is probably your best bet. But listen, 
why don't we try to make something better the, of the story lot that they have there in Mexico uh, being uh, done under by uh, uh, drug pushers getting their heroin from uh, none other than those in Afghanistan who have also made it legal to rape kids. That's the thing in Afghanistan. This, the American soldiers, uh, as a, a form of uh, entertainment, get to rape the kids and they don't get prosecuted for it. Because they get to, they are, their military operations are under the law in that country. They don't have to obey uh, child rape laws. I'm cam campaigning to have every soldier executed who supports this. Any soldier who steals, any, of any fucking uniform, but particularly the American uniform. If you, if you wear an American uniform and you sell this, I want a bullet in your head. Doesn't anybody want the bullets in their fucking heads? You know, they don't defend America on 9 11 because they're fucking cowards. None of the so called TV suspects are from Afghanistan or of Al Qaeda. None of them. It isn't until 2003 Alex Jones and Anthony Schaefer make up their lies. It's recorded history. That's what the history dictates, right? None of these people are of Al Qaeda. They're, some of them are living Saudi Arabian pilots who had their identity stolen. But, but you know, Alex Jones isn't here to track down who did 9 11, namely Bush and Cheney, for closing investigations, saying the FBI cannot investigate any further. Because at that moment, like almost immediately, like talk about how effective the FBI can be if it's unre uh, you know if it's not restrained by criminality, they found out almost instantly that the thing was being financed by Bush's business partner, right? Another broadcast friend of Alex Jones, General Ahmad. He says, "I oh, yeah, I don't believe it." Well, you have to believe it because that's the evidence trail as to how these uh, uh, guys who were into. Uh, 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 smoking cocaine or what is it or snorting cocaine and uh, and and uh, boozing it up at the bars you know they're not and they're not Muslims right fuck you in, in what way do they uh, support God's will to be just for this day But, uh, yeah, so what other things were they talking about? So, yeah, the, the Jamie Dimon trillionaire fucking thief of fucking unprecedented wickedness, he's going to, his life is going to be spent as the Treasury Secretary. And one of the, he'll get his salary, but he'll also get $60 billion. Every, that's what's, that's the first thing that happens when you repeal Obamacare, is that Jamie Dimon personally gets $60 billion. And who, where does that money come from? It comes out of the hides of all these American kids paying back their uh, student loans or adults in their mid-30s or perhaps 40s that are still paying back. That's where that money comes from. And Jamie Dimon personally, when he, when he puts all that money into his personal bank account, he will know just as I, and you could too, but he will know just as I, he didn't earn a nickel, right? He didn't lend a nickel either. He never lent anybody any fucking money. But he gets all that money for free. Now the only way he figures he's it's a for sure getaway is if he works full time as the Treasury Secretary. So that's what's in the news. Is that Trump's gonna is gonna make Jamie Dimon the Treasury Secretary so he can walk out with that sixty bill. Sixty billion he will get. Now do you think Trump is asking for a cut of that money? Or do you think Alex Jones is asking Jamie Dimon for a cut of that money? Because that's what he's gonna get. 60 and it's and it doesn't stop there it continues on it's not only 60 billion it's every fucking payment that will be made after that and plus they're currently holding more than 100 billion dollars which will in all likelihood go right to jamie diamond too all this money just goes into his personal bank account right and he gets to and and, and he needs you to sacrifice your work week or you'll lose your house you lose your car you got payments on your car and your house you're gonna you don't lose don't fucking well, you better get back to your double full-time gig where you're doing fucking heavy labor or you're going to lose your house because you got to pay back Jamie Dimon who never fucking lent you a nickel to begin with. He never lent you any money. And that's why Obama wars Syria. That's why Trump doesn't defend democracy or freedom to be we the people, right? Nor does Alex Jones. They don't want you to know these things, never these uh, realities of our current circumstance, because now you might be thinking, uh, well, I don't know, you might be thinking a lot of things. Because it is quite amazing that life can pan out this way at when we articulate our current circumstance. But again, the big downer here is, is people will suffer and die. 
and I could be dying soon, and my mom was just murdered here by the police while they laugh in my face, believing we're powerless. You will not demand justice for this day unless you are a human being and you say, well, of course, fuck, I can't believe this is true. I went, I listened to the recordings of the chief medical examiner. Holy fuck, Johnny. You know, there's fucking thousands of fucking murder victims here and, and they only get away with these crimes because of some way that we fail uh, to address ourselves here. Because if you'd have to be fucking uh, disturbed by this if you understood what I'm saying is correct. It's they're fucking mass murdering people just because my mom was poor or they didn't like her, whatever the reasons were. Um, as 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 I've told you, I'm I live in the poor one of the poorest neighborhoods in Canada, and people around me get murdered here all the time. Not by people on the streets, but by the hospital and the Winnipeg police. They're murdering our poor. And these people are fucking evil. Good for nobodies, man. They're not, it's not that they, you know, they're, I don't want to get into my ideas as to what is a, of their character, but it's very ungodly and evil. Their commitment is to kill innocent people. They hate human beings for some strange sadistic reasons as for why some get into the medical profession, I guess. I don't know, fuck. Anyway, they're mass murdering people. And fuck. Alex Jones is never going to allow me to talk because he says I'm in with the New World Order. Well, they, you know, well, he doesn't tell you about Jamie Dimon or the millions of people perhaps that were killed in Libya or that will die over the next uh, thousands of years because they drop radioactive toxic waste in these uh, munitions 68,000 times. He won't tell you that all vaccinations contain neurotoxins, although he does pretty good on the vaccinations gen on general terms. He just doesn't get that part. And then the other part is that this is this is nonsense you know we can we can see some correlations particularly with um, cowpox and smallpox but you know it, it injecting neural toxins to put into our bloodstreams that kill our brain our brain tissue like that's what happens every time a soldier gets jabbed by these doctors who say don't pay attention put your faith in us we'll fucking kill your fucking mother your father your brother your sister right that's so again it's a position of blindness where Instead of you having the fact and knowing it and going, well, it's neurotoxic, you know, the, and the idea of what they're doing is they'll tell you is to put your body under attack. They say that's medicine, right? So you have to, you're, you, uh, we typically see that people don't, or it seems that people give up in, in their pursuits in a, of understanding something. And if they can get excuses that Alex Jones sell, they'll give him money and watch me starve to death. They'll watch my mom be murdered, the, the, the Winnipeg Free Press steal my house, and me freeze to death anyway, uh, here uh, where it gets below uh, 25, you know, it'll be 25, 30 below, 40 below, and I'll die. I will die. And all I need is help. I just need you to demand justice for this day. I want these doctors to face fair death sentences. Dr. Collister, Dr. Chisick murdered my mother with Nurse Delaney. Nurse Delaney punches, she punched my mom in the face. Right? And the cops wouldn't come. They wouldn't fucking show up. Right? So, and, and then she shows, uh, Delaney shows up back on the day that they fucking murder my mom. She uh, avoids, uh, she had to have asked to be moved uh, temporarily somewhere else. But I caught her twice trying to murder my mom and she punched my mom in the face. She doesn't get arrested or questioned or anything. She just moved maybe to another floor till the day my mom is murdered with her buddies. Dr. Collister and, and Dr. Chisick. They murder a young man of about 36 the day they murder my mom. He could be a cop, he could be anybody. If you go to the Winnipeg Facebook group where it's called People of Winnipeg, they're committed to kill the poor, right? They wanna kill innocent people, not allow, not allow. I, all I do is say, here's the audios of me chief speaking to the chief medical examiner. The, the police phone the newspaper yourself. Right? They, they're into killing our families here. They don't want them to have a happy day while they steal all our prize winnings at the lotteries. Citizens in Winnipeg, did you know that? You know, the Winnipeg Free Press and CGOB steal all our prize winnings. You ever wonder nobody wins anything in the city? Because CGOB and the Winnipeg Free Press steal all our prize winnings. That's what they do. They steal all our prize winnings while they kill our families. Have a happy day, man. Right? They're here to murder the innocent forsaken, claiming that you can never hear me speaking or you or me hear you speaking 
on a position of understanding where we're fuck, fucking damn rights, man, we're not going to let them kill more innocent people like this. And it shouldn't be happening in your city. But I suspect it likely is. It's the uh, error. There's a whole bunch of fucked up, fucked up things in this. And blindness that we have to address with a public inquiry. We have to use our minds freely and realize what the, the whole premise of this whole program is fucking wrong. Like, just to take somebody and put them to death is wrong. Fuck you. Okay, that's not medicine. But that's not what I'm alleging took place with my mom and all these other victims. That's not what's going on here. They're taking people off the streets and murdering them. The Winnipeg Free Press uh, is remaining uh, as complicit by not warning all the people here. You got to watch out for the Winnipeg Police Department killing the poor at, 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 the, uh, at the Winnipeg Health Science Center, fourth floor. Now, when you realize, though, I argue it's got to be 99.9% .9 of police officers would see bullets in the heads of these fucking doctors after fairly being tried. They can't fucking believe this is going on either. You know why? Because you can't get by the front desks of all our police stations that I have recorded. Right? No matter who you are. As I have also recorded, or the evidence indicating that the numbers exceed 10,000 murder victims here. But no matter where you go, the police will say, you can't do that. We're not going to allow you to complain of a murder taking place at the desk. So what does that do? It's accessory to murder, and they deserve to be formally executed by fair trial. But what does it do? It means that nobody in the police department is going to ever look at what you're fucking talking on. Right? So they're, they're committed to mass murdering the poor. And the individuals that they have at these desks, in, in one case... The guy murdered his own father under this exact program, right? He took his dad to the hospital under comfort care. They deprived him all the medications that he needed for his heart and his liver and other medications, perhaps. They take away all your medications that you need, then they suffocate you. And they kill you here in Winnipeg. Dr. Chisick and Dr. Collister. I watched them murder countless people. The, the people are covered in bruises. You know, Delaney's punching the elderly out in their faces. But their bodies, too. You know, they. you should see how they jab needles into their bodies. It's time for your blood thinning agent. They gotta give everybody blood thinners. You're deprived all the medications that you need, but they're giving you blood thinners. <laughs> every day, four times a day, every fucking patient. And so their bodies are just black and blue, like fucking heavy duty. And then the guy, they beat people up when they want their bedpan. Right? You should see that fucking guy. He just throws people around. They scream. Ah, 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 ah. That's what he does. They say, can you get this guy to fucking relax? He's, he, he's uh, injuring my mom on her foot, eh? And so when I did that, oh, they got so fucking evil. They put a big thing on my mom's foot. I'll show you. You know, all I said was, look at how rough he is with every patient here. And, and, you know, taking some pleasure in causing people pain. Right? They're a bunch of sadistic, first-degree mass murderers. Right? And, and so as he's doing that, her, my mom's feet are, being, are, are hitting the, uh, 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 the cloth on the, on the bed, the fucking torture bed. Wait, you see fucking what they got for torture beds there. They know what they're doing is fucking hideous evil. But anyway, so all I'm saying is put, put those uh, hospital slippers on her feet so she doesn't uh, scrape her fucking, the heels on the, on the material because he throws her up like this and so her legs go like this and I'm asking him, can't you do it nicer? You know, the whole fucking place, every fucking person there is fucking crazed. I'm, as I'm in this position, I'm learning that they've murdered more than 10,000 people as to where I'm standing. I'm standing in this room and, I, and I'm seeing this guy's being murdered and I've already got the public records or the records from government officials that they've murdered fucking 10,000 people in here and I've got to save my precious mother, right? I can't leave my mother. That's the fucking agony of this story that is so fucking horrific. And then there, there, there was no God, uh, you know, to, for a magical entrance and go, oh, I'll fucking fix everything. You know, it was this constant fight uh, for justice in that, in that, in that room which, of which I fail at because I lost my mother and they're still mass murdering poor, the, the poor in this uh, community. I'm learning of murders uh, 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 semi-routinely. A, 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 a woman who only works, or, you know, people that are only a block away from me. She, her, her mother, her father murdered. This guy, a guy who works over this way, uh, one block away. They murdered his father exactly the same way. He, uh, and I talked to him a couple months ago about it. Now he tells me about a week or so ago that his cousin's dad was murdered the exact same way. 
you know they, they you're you're either encouraged to go talk to a doctor who can help you with your uh, position this is how they murdered my mom we wanted a doctor to come to the house to have her look at her feet because I didn't know what it was right when he comes here he says what well, you uh, you oh, I really he talks as he's a doctor he says oh I really can't treat her here she it would be so much better if you brought her to the hospital because we can do the proper tests is what he sells to me and we put it off for a little while and I thought well we might as well you know uh, go check it out go talk to a doctor so we get in a cab and so on but when we get there she she's being murdered right away but I learned that that guy wasn't the doctor so they they had plans on murdering my mother just by making that phone call to ask for public free you know uh, Americans that are opposed to uh, uh, this bl so-called blindly but listen this is the situation is free health care but it's willful murder the police know they're murdering the poor the newspapers know they're murdering the poor Right, and they refuse to defend us and keep us and keep us purposefully uninformed to steal innocent lives here in Winnipeg. Your love mother, your love father, thousands of victims. Get a copy of the archive. R listen to all the numerous uh, phone calls I have with the chief medical examiner and 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 people at the hospital. Pathology. They don't do all f autopsies are forbidden in the province. They can't, they're not allowed to determine cause of death. So, but they'll say, the newspaper will say, autopsy this or autopsy that. The newspaper will report that. But when you talk to all the people, anybody you want, in, that is of pathology here in our province, including the hospital, of which I speak to the head of pathology there, and then executives in the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, executives at the hospital included, he tells me, no, we're not allowed to. We can never be allowed to determine cause of death. But we'll say it's an autopsy, which means they just chop the body up into pieces and put you in, in boxes and bags. And then that's it. That's the autopsy. But never to do a test to figure out how did this person die. That's forbidden. Why? Because it's murder. You've, you've just suffocated my mother. You, every person there, they're murdering. And they call it comfort care. Right, and so they have a determinate time when you're going to die. Doctor Collister says this person will die 14 days. He does this thing: 14 days, 14 days, 14 days, and that's what he does to my mom. He says 14 days. She'll be dead in 14 days, John. Right, and so I go, I go to the cops again, like my fifth or sixth time. Beg, my, save my mother's life. Go away. No, you, you know they have no commitment, and, and all they uh, and and plus they've murdered all these people. They got these. The 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 doctor wants me to fucking punch him in the face, but I'm in a position at the two week period that my mom is in the best shape she's at and we're about ready to fucking get out of there or find a way to fucking escape so the day they murdered her we have recorded them speaking to our family because I'm saying do not give my mom any poisons and my mom says she doesn't want any any more of your medications no poisons right because that's all they give you they don't give you any medication that you need only things to uh, uh, to kill you you know, to stop your heart from beating or stop you breathing. It's all on a, on a, they just increase the dosage, I guess is how it is with this 14 day plan. But almost every victim of Colster, numbering in the thousands of murder victims here as the poor of Winnipeg, are, are murdered this way, the nurse tells. And it's a 14 day thing. And so that, and that's what he did to my mom. And on the 14th day, he fucking kills her. He comes right to the bed. Uh, I have it recorded. I say, look, we don't want any, any medications or nothing from you. He says, okay, yeah, okay, I won't give you no medications. We'll see how your mom does. Is That's what I have recorded, right? We'll see how your mom does. And, I go, and, and, I, and he's not even supposed to be our fucking doctor, but to, discuss, to explain his relationship, it takes time, I'll explain. But he has this authority to murder people. Anyway, so he says, and, he tell, and my mom's conscious, we don't want any of your poisons. And he says, okay, but that's all he's doing to everybody else. That's... You pick up your phone when you get your you got your AR-15 loaded, America and Patriot Warrior. Come save Canada, please. Come save Canada, please. Fuck. You know you phone the hospital yourself and go. Listen, what's going on over there? What's this comfort care again? Well, we deprive the patient of all their medications and fucking suffocate them or fucking only poisons. Right? That's all they're doing is poisoning you with and then giving you a and the you have you have um. You have uh, pharmaceutical companies that are manufacturing specific poisons for this industry to kill people with. And, and so, like hydromorphone, for example, what it does is it, it stops the, the uh, ability for your lungs to take a breath. 
it it um, it stops the nerve firings of the muscles that contract the diaphragm to contract your lungs for breathing, and then they and then they bind that with morphine. So a heavy heavy doses of morphine. So they get you so super fucking stoned, and they slowly suffocate the victim, and that's the medicine that Collister uses to mass murder the poor in the thousands. None, again, important to know, none of these victims, as such was to my mother, volunteered to commit suicide, right? That's what they're doing in Florida now, right? They, and uh, Colorado, what is it, uh, something like that? I think it was Colorado, I'm not sure, but, uh, but, they're, you know, but that's the thing. No, we, 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 I wanted, my mom wanted to get help, but they, they, the, the hospital says, no, I'm putting you to death. And that's what they did with my mom. They said, uh, she has a total organ failure. That's why we're suffocating her. She doesn't have total organ failure. We fight to get the nurses away from my mom's body. And no, she doesn't have multiple organ failure. They lied. They were, they, uh, so I catch them trying to suffocate her. And that's, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is recorded here for you to witness yourself. You know, and then Delaney tries again. All Delaney's doing there is punching out the elderly and fucking suffocating them because they think they get away with this because, yeah, it's, nobody cares enough to defend innocent life. So it's, it's got into a position now where the police are complicit because they refuse to investigate and those that are operating this are fucking psychotic, super fucking evil people. Super fucking evil. They admit to doctoring the medical... There's so many crimes involving uh, this murder of my mother. We're going to need a fucking team of fucking uh, uh, crime scene investigators. So maybe Trump can save the day and say, listen, uh, we want to go right uh, for ourselves uh, being fair here. And if what Johnny is saying about mass murder, I'm going to make a phone call to the hospital. I'm going to make a phone call to the chief medical examiner. Phone that guy. Or go listen to the phone calls that I have with him. He can't look at anybody's medical records. He's not allowed to. Nobody's allowed to. Nobody does. No, I, the Office um, uh, Protections of Persons and Care Act he says that when they asked the hospital for the records of the first attempted murder of my mother, the, re the hospital refused to give, the, give him the records. And by law, they have to, otherwise they would be arrested. Right? But they say, no, we're not going to do it. And so, so this guy's, his salary, like his whole job working for the Manitoba government is this. And, he's, and he does nothing. He can't do anything. He can't have them arrested. The cops don't go there. There's no cops. The RCMP, the National Security, as my several discussions with, I go down right down to their fucking office. Explain this, man. You know, they're not allowed to. They can't investigate. Nobody's allowed to investigate while they're mass murdering these people. And Justin Trudeau says there's nothing he can do. So who, who is who? Who do you think I am? And, and who did they think you were not paying attention to what I'm saying, being clear here of mind to know? They're mass murdering the poor, and the newspaper says not, they have no care. CBC has no care. Don't you have a care for all these innocent victims? They could be just as, as soon you, you and your, or you and yours. You know, can't you care for innocent mass murder victims here? How come? What is it about my presentation that causes you uh, not to do right for ourselves? Because all I, all I demand is fair say is the enforcement of the laws in Canada that oppose murder be enforced. They took my mom against her will and poisoned her to death. I want them, that, I want them to face formal executions in, the, in respect to of all their thousands of other uh, victims that I've learned of uh, through investigating this nightmare that may end soon if I get no help at all. I need uh, some income. I, I haven't worked in a while. You know, people learn of my story and I guess they don't want to hire me anymore. Or maybe they would. Maybe some work will come up. I sure hope so. I play guitar. I like to act. I've been in it as an extra in a bunch of movies. Right? Just to, to, you know, nothing special. But I did a scene with Robin Williams. That was pretty cool. I got to meet Robin Williams. He was such a great guy. He really, really, what, well, I see it. Well, who, 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 he, who he was for the time that, uh, brief time that I was there talking to him. Just to who you figure he would be, you know? It's just Robin Williams. Wow, yeah, that's cool. You know? He, he, he uh, uh, said uh, hello to all cast members that were extras. Like, came out, well, he, he didn't make it. I don't want to make too big of a deal out of it because it was, you know, 
it, it seems not uh, it seemed would it, like it would maybe have been customary but it sure was nice because it doesn't happen often where uh, you know a star in a movie will come down uh, to where the extras are and say hello and actually shake a whole bunch I think he I think he are, I think he did shake just about everybody's hand too if I if I recall correctly and uh, there were maybe uh, about uh, 35 or 40 of us as extras for the scene and very and friendly and, and really you know oh, thanks he was thanking us too oh thanks for so much for being here this is great you know and stuff like that and I, I got to play an interesting uh, role I was a soldier wearing a, a bra ah never mind it's just as an extra though you know what I mean so but it was fun I have a lot, I've had a lot of fun so I can do uh I can also do heavy labor. I've worked in cement. But the thing is, I want to be paid a half decent wage. And the guy offered me a job and says, well, we'll start off at well, 10 bucks an hour. And I, not if I'm carrying 200 pounds of cement up and down some stairs or something all day long. I, you know, I'm so I'm hoping I get paid a, a half decent wage um, for work as such as that. Uh, no, well, 200 pounds. I don't know. Well, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's I mean, 150 maybe. Let's go 150. No, it's probably heavier than 150. You don't need two big pails of cement. Anyway, I don't know how much it weighs. It seems like it would weigh somewhere near 150 pounds. Yeah, maybe it's closer to 150 pounds. But it gets to you, you know, after maybe not eight hours. Uh, it gets to you after two hours. You know, you got to take, or uh, let's say even an hour. You know, it's, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. So I don't want to be taken advantage of, you know, because my mom was murdered. My whole life is a fucking uh, uh, a sin, you know, uh, uh, of life to not help me ever. Why can't I have a, a, a job at the newspaper? Why can't I be on the magic TV to tell you how, how things are going uh, to be uh, better informed about our current circumstance? People don't want to live true, truthful lives. They don't want to be honorable. You know, they want to they want to live in the lies to cheat others for death. But I got, I'm no fucking expert of this. Not to have my mom die. I got, I got, you know, my whole, everything about God, uh, fuck, you know, whatever, man. Like I say, I can't believe my mom has been murdered this way. I, through the process, it was a struggle, d desperate it was every, all the, all the time. But I just always had in my mind that I was going to succeed. You know, if I just kept pushing for the truth to be had and that these, uh, and that there would be police officers somewhere in this city that would react saying they have a responsibility and an oath they gave to God and country. I'm going to fucking save Jenny Canal right now. They never came. You know, they never came to save my mother's life. They never came to help me. They never did any investigations at all. I've got cooperating doctors here. i got doctors that tell, tell me, as recorded, the medical records are all edited whatever way they want. You know, just as I told you about the guy who has this full... There's a... I think he told me there are 15 people that work there. And they do nothing. They can't save a single person's life. Right, they have, they get full. They're fucking prof so-called professionals. I don't know what their salaries are, but fuck, I bet you it's over a hundred thousand dollars. They're you know a staff of uh, fifteen or more people. Let's say the in total, maybe twenty people are involved in this. It's called the uh, Protections of Persons in Care Office. Okay, now I know this as a fact because I've talked to them numerous times. They've done nothing for nobody. Uh, well, thousands of people have been mass murdered, and in my mom's case, he tells me directly the hospital refused to. Uh, like I say, uh, here's the day uh, that my mom was murdered. Right? Get the get the uh, get these uh, dates of where these crimes occurred, and here's the videotapes of them trying to murder my mother, and here's the you know audio recordings. And so that's what uh, their office did. They went to the. This is why my mom is still alive, being tortured, beaten up, and and deprived. And they don't want to give her anything that that she might need. Right, it's all deprive the patient of all the things they need. Like they wouldn't give my mom penicillin and so on. Anything that if you get in, they encourage you to get infections, right? Because they're not going to treat infections, right? They're not. They're only there to murder you. But he tells me, as recorded, you can go listen to that recording, right? Where he tells that the hospital refused to give any uh, or refused to cooperate whatsoever. Now, if you go look at the what the law is in Manitoba. That's a felony, or it's like a felony. They go to fucking prison for that because that is directly opposing the government of Manitoba, right? Because this is one of the only offices where they can command this authority to investigate allegations of criminality. But go listen to my phone calls with this guy, uh, Chris, who tells nothing. 
can't do a damn thing. Not even, even though they've, they're, they've, they're assaulting my mom, trying to murder my mom, he will, will can't, Willis can't do nothing. There's nothing he can do. Go call the cops. I'll call the cops. He'll call the cops. Anybody can call the cops and say, no, they're poor. It's the poor. Mike says he, he's going to take us all into the room to talk about it if we have a problem with uh, what he's doing here. Right? That's what I have recorded there. It's one of the three recordings at the top of the archive when you download it, right? He's going to take Canada into the room and tell us the fucking what for, man. If you have a problem with him killing your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, fuck. You know, they're mass murdering people. And Mike there, he's not going to do anything about it as, as his professional responsibility to exercise a, a defense for our laws by investigating this allegation of a mass murder transpiring at the House Science Center here in the, in the city of Winnipeg on the fourth floor, comfort care. So spread the news. Take my shows. Take these words. Build uh, something of this to likewise demand for yourself fair say. And we'll all win a better day. Okay, sound good? It's almost an hour here. I'll listen a bit more. No amount of false flags, no amount of race riots, no amount of globalist disinformation will put this back together again if we understand that this is bigger than Matt Drudge or Alex Jones or Stephen Bannon or Donald Trump. Yeah. This thing is about ideas and liberty and freedom. Yeah. Communists and socialists can't even produce automobiles. They don't even have vacations in those countries. Oh, oh there he goes. He just loses it. Loses. You know, it's just like nonsense. Whatever, man. Uh, we're all social creatures. We like to talk to each other uh, to make something better of ourselves in the current condition. How is that wrong now? You see, it's not. It's, we want to go by the facts where our rights are transgressed. Better ideas should rule the day, as Alex was saying. So I hope the show has been uh, somewhat entertaining, and I hope to I hope to hear you by sending me an email, King Johnny for President at gmail dot com or John Canal at mail dot ru. Let's go with the truth. How about free energy for everyone is could be just around the corner if you decide to do what's right and. Uh, like me, your next uh, magic TV news ho host celebrity. Um, bring my guitar out and do some jamming while we uh, nab the 9-11 perp, Sandy Hook, and those responsible for the Boston bombing. Stealing trillions again, Jamie Diamond. Holy crap, what's going on? Maybe Trump doesn't know. I mean, that's possible. Maybe Trump doesn't know. So let's work together to make everybody informed on these matters that aren't going to go away despite ourselves uh, putting uh, our heads in the ground. Uh, uh, we'll still have us left uh, with our asses in the air getting fucked again all wrong you know but to each their own as long as you're not infringing on the rights of another to do as they please and then we're living in paradise you can do whatever the fuck you want it's your time it's your life whatever man just don't deprive another a right to be just as the same as free completely unique and uh, maybe not paradise but at least we'll be civilized so the Bill of Rights indeed is what we need to hold on to as uh, indivisible positions of self-respect. We should expect nothing else by, uh, by uh, speaking free. We find these grounds just naturally being. Nobody wants to be cheated, for example. Nobody who you are, so-called left, so-called right, socialist, so-called whatever. Nobody wants to be cheated. Everybody wants to be treated fair. I don't want to be rooked by crooks either. So there you go, that's our path. Okay, talk again.